Hey everybody, it's your girl Hita, and guess what? I'm back with more Hita talk. Seriously though, this Oprah is just like so inner and it's coming out, but this is not what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about so many amazing things because the lovely Bianca Rhodes is here. Do you guys know her? Because you will be all about her at the end of this episode. She is a multiple award winning producer. I mean, hello Emmys, uh, filmmaker, photographer, advocate of youth and media, and so much more. So subscribe, grab your popcorn and stay tuned. Bianca Rose. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I am good. You look good. Thank you. You sound good. Thank the you. Hair, the makeup, the outfit, Thank the representation. You. Yes, yes. It's all about you. I could keep going. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> hey, I'm loving it. Thank you for the affirmation. Absolutely. <laughs> we need to power up each other. Yes, we do. We are Wonder Women. You are a Wonder Woman. You are doing Thank things. You. Thank you. So you know your resume. Ooh. They got a little glimpse <laughs> of it. We're going to talk about all things, Bianca. Okay. But I'm curious. I actually don't know this. Um, how did you get involved in your producer life? Oh, Where did man. this thing start from? Ooh, well, <laughs> it started, and it's going to be a little cliche, but no, it started at the tender age of 14 years old. For real? Yes. Wow. With TPT Television, with a show called Don't Believe the Hype. And it was a show about teens and by teens. We were the writers, we were the producers, and we were also the talent. And Are you serious? yes, this is so yes. cool. And my great best friend of 22 years, Essence Jones, mm -hmm. um, heard about this amazing thing starting up again. So don't believe the hype had been around in the 80s, and then they were starting up again in the 90s. And she took me to the kickoff. And I saw them cameras. And, and you I believed saw, the hype. And I believed it. Yes, I did. <laughs> and um, I was like, how do you do that? Like, I want to learn how to do that. And I was forever changed. We would hop three buses from New Hope, Minnesota to St. Paul and run through the Skyways and make it over to TPT every Tuesday for I don't even know how many years. No parent or guardian? No parent or guardian, because my mama said, you know what, if you really want this, you will find a way to get this. Good mama. Yes. Good momming and picking shout up here. Shout out to Lorraine, I love you. Hello. <laughs> well, and your pops is kind of a big deal. Oh yeah, a rock star. <laughs> well, a musician that yeah, some of us may just know. Kind of part of some history here. Do you want to give him a shout out? Of. Shout out to you, dad. Jelly Bean Johnson of Morris Band the Time, woo -woo! a part of the Minneapolis sound with the legendary Prince, who we love He's got and goosebumps. honor all the time. Uncle P, we love you. We know you're still hanging out metaphysically, okay? <laughs> I'm going to start crying when out. <laughs> Basically, follow their family because they're all a big deal. Yes. <laughs> but we'll hone it back into Bianca, I guess, <laughs> gladly. Uh, so... 14, TPT, 14. and then did you go to school to kind of master yes. and fine tune? Yes, so I went to St. Cloud State University and I loved it. Um, I tried to double major, I'll never forget that. I was <laughs> trying to do journalism <laughs> and television production and my advisor was like, yeah, no, you would, you would burn out. <laughs> so, um, but mean, yeah. It was mass communications with an emphasis on television production. Heck yeah. And I fell in love with camera work. I, I enjoyed hosting. I did not like being a reporter. That was a part of the program. Yeah. Um, so I learned what I, what I wanted to do very quickly. Um, some people are not cut out for news. You have to be unbiased mm. and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, look, I'm always going to have an opinion. Look. So this ain't going to work. <laughs> So you did that. You got your bachelor's there? Yes. Okay. And then? Whew, I went out into the world. That big, <laughs> big old, old crazy world. world. Um, I made a vow to myself that I would never take a job that wasn't media. Um, and so my very first job was actually with a film company, um, Jiu-Jitsu Film. That sounds so fun. Yes. <laughs> and um, they had a tiny little space in Uptown. 
and I was like their little like production assistant. I would have to carry these large scripts, so they would always be revamping. It would be like 500 pieces of paper. Someone has to do the dirty work. Yes. Right? So you'd see me walking <laughs> up and down Hennepin and Lindale with all this paper, um, location scouting, um, looking up Hollywood actors and actresses, but mm. looking into their agencies. Because, you know, you're yeah. like, yeah, how do I get Angela Bassett? How the heck would I even Correct. start that process? And so I learned about that. So that was pretty cool. That is essential. It was off the chain. That's why I got into PR. If I did anything right, it was to be strategic. <laughs> yes, definitely. And it was, let's learn the behind the scenes, behind the scenes. so that I can be the best I can on the scene. Yes. And that goes right in hand with learning how to get in touch with those fancy yes. ladies. Yes. And some of my favorite memories was actually having to be what they called in college a one-man band. So my uncle, Pete mm -hmm. Rose, shout out to you. Mm -hmm. um, the film from Jiu-Jitsu Films is called Justice. Okay. And I got to interview Monica Calhoun and Roger Guinevere Smith. And it was last minute. I was, I was a fresh college student. Yeah. So I got lost. <laughs> got lost finding the theater because it was a little theater. It was Riverview. Yep. And I finally got everything. I'm all sweating and stuff. And my uncle was like, oh, you got to interview them. What? I thought I was just going to be a camera op today. Oh, and no. he's like, no, I need you to get a red carpet interview. Haul all my crap, <laughs> throw everything on, camera, Stress. microphone, and here we go. So And then the camera's rolling, you're smiling. And I'm smiling. Like, I'm all this BS to... didn't happen. Off the chain. <laughs> but it was amazing, and I'll never forget that. So it's those it was crazy, crazy moments that are life-changing. And then I, I come from a media family, so it's my yeah. uncle. I was learning everything on the fly outside of school. Uh, you guys do a little show called Urban Perspectives. Yes. Wow. I was a rising star on it at one point. Yes, you were a shining a star. A shining star. Rising, shining, you yes. know. That was my uh, producing segment. So That is amazing. So you're doing a few things. Whew. What else are you doing? You oh work man. at... For a company <laughs> called SPNN. Yes, St. Paul Neighborhood Network. So yeah. with them, I am officially their production and venue coordinator. Mm -hmm. That kind of just changed this year. So that's a fancy word for producer and event planning. So you're not so. shuffling the 50 pages of 500 as much. Not anymore. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> answering emails, calling people, just different types of papers, mm -hmm. just not 500. Electronic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and through that, you also are co-founder of Crown Names Media Group. Yes, and you have a sweet show called Candy Friends. Okay, so that's, you know. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. There's somebody on this show I think look kind of familiar. You know, I mm. might have a doppelganger, but I mean, if you know. I'm not mistaken, <laughs> I am the new co-host. Yes, she is. Thank you for having me on yes. board. And hey, you did your thing. Thanks, girl. Yes. We'll learn. We'll learn as we go yes. from the people that do what they do. Yes. And uplift each other through the process. Through the whole process. Yes. Be lovely and LeMay Photography. Yes. You girl, you're doing amazing okay. things. Okay. So what had okay. happened was. It just got real. What had happened was <laughs> I was running my business full time. Um, I'd worked for Minneapolis Public Schools for five years. Oh, wow. And sadly, as most public schools there's budget cuts Ooh. um and so my like photography district photographer slash media maker for the district had got cut oh, no. and so instead of freaking out everybody already was like well why don't you just run your business it's okay you'll be fine and so i literally like registered it officially with the state within three months of that job being terminated and that's a big it. scary it's move. a big scary move and i did that full time for two years which i learned a lot about myself um the beauty of running their business is like <sighs> you get your own hours your own hours you have to be strategic you have to be planful yeah. you know um and so i learned that really quickly um, but two years and then someone suggested that I apply for the spin job and I was like, I don't know, 
because <laughs> I enjoyed running my business. Okay, full you time. were comfortable I doing the cool. beloved thing. I was cool doing all the, <laughs> those weddings and clients all over like corporate stuff and nonprofit. It was beautiful, wow. but then it was like, uh oh. <laughs> The bills, like, got oh, the bills you know, waiting on checks. That's the other thing. Freelancing, sometimes you have to wait on checks. Mm. And I was mm. like, okay, I don't know how long mm. we're going to be able to do this mm. without having viable, continuous work. So yeah. I was a little concerned. And then the person who was in that position was like, there for 30 years. So you're not truly believing that, like, how can I possibly replace 30 years right. of experience? Big shoes to fill. Right. So, but I love it. They're like family. We've known each other like 12 years at that point. So even the interview didn't feel like an interview. They really just wanted to know what the heck I was doing. It was a <laughs> reunion. It was a reunion. With a paycheck. Yes. Girl, you're yes. strategic. Very, <laughs> very. 14 year old running through the skyway. You had it all mapped out <laughs> for down the road. <laughs> yes, yes. Wow. So Candy Fresh is yes. filmed at SPNN's yes. turf. And how can people watch uh, Candy Fresh? Okay, so, well, first, Candy Fresh is a show about music, arts, and culture. Yes, it is. It has a DJ. It has dancers every once in a while. Um, interviews, uh, live studio audience, and musical performance. So it has five elements because, you know, hip-hop is everything, so it had to have five so elements. And it has been an amazing journey. We are in our season Three. I cannot believe Yay it. Yay for season three of everything. <laughs> this is amazing. Yes. I've seen you guys grow. Yes. From definitely. the first season to now. Yes. And continuing. Lots of lots of community support. Like I we were talking about uh, one of my camera people who have rocked with us since the beginning. Yes. And loves it and um, basically like changed his plans. Like he had something to do, but he's like, I can't can't miss Candy Fresh. Just so grateful and for it's volunteer based. It's volunteer based. The entire situation has been volunteer. That's phenomenal. But I want us to grow because the people that have been rocking with us since the beginning yeah. deserve to be paid. Of course. Truly. Of course. So. You take care of your people. I try. And I that try. Shows. <laughs> Let's I shift try. gears a little and learn a little bit more about the team that you're wearing and yes. what that represents. That is Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Did you just get an award or some recognition? I did. Yes. I received a um, community service award Girl. from my from my sorority. I'm still adjusting to even That's a saying big that. Big deal. <laughs> you just do what I'm you truly do. Truly grateful. Yes. People acknowledged it. And I'm grateful. We have some amazing women. Brave, bold, beautiful, amazing women. So to be connected to that officially mm. I just like because ah, these are friends of mine so and you keep in I'm touch often oh yes it's a sisterhood oh yes oh you gain gosh. a family <laughs> oh my gosh so and do you get together grateful. frequently we try to yeah. we try to I mean, we life. definitely check on each other I have like three different text groups now there was like the family text group oh yeah then you got like your vibe tribes so you have your, like, your <laughs> friends and then there's my sorority group chat and so we stay in touch especially with that snowstorm we had so <laughs> snow we're not even going we're not going to go into details about it but I mean it's beautiful it's reflecting we have natural light uh, and you're blinded and stuck in your driveway anyways <laughs> You made it work. She looks fabulous, though. <laughs> Likewise. Yes. So the sisterhood, yes. the family, the TPT, the it's in your blood. You've yes. worked your, your butt off, um, but you also support youth. Yes. That is a big thing, especially in this crazy oh, man. timing, sensitivity, culture, society. What, what do you love most about working with the youth? And what do you do? I love, okay, so I do te teach television production skills regularly over the summer to our youth over at St. Paul Neighborhood Network. Um, and then I mentor. Like, it's gotten to a point where my mentors are growing up. Oh my God, <laughs> and they're they not babies are, anymore. They're not babies anymore. They're freelancers. They they do their own thing. Um, and I try to stay in touch. I, I've gotten to a point where I have to hand off gigs now. Like, I can't do all the things. No. And so I literally, like, point them out like, yo, I'm about to start dropping some some gigs off to you, so when I call you, I need you to answer. 
<laughs> that's why you have a mentor and a mentee. That's right. And <laughs> so um, it's just been an amazing journey with them. Yeah. And what I love most about it is watching their aha moments. Mm. So like you give them this mm. new tool and then they're just like, oh, so now I can do this and I can do that. And, and um, it's just been amazing. So like recently um, from last year's group of students, um, this amazing young, young boy um, just fell in love with editing. And he, guess, he just came in the facility recently with his dad and he never told me that his dad had his own TV show. And so now, he had secrets. His, right, <laughs> now his skills is helping the family. Oh like I would have never even thought. And Props so like, to editors, right, man. cause we need you. <laughs> we need you. <laughs> <laughs> but I like went back in my office and started like sniffling. Cause it was like, really? I would have never, I would have never thought. And I just love how it's oh. empowering them to do yeah. things. And then giving voice to their ideas. That's the biggest thing right now. We're not. We're not listening enough to our youth. We want to tell them everything. We Man. want them to do right, but they have their own ideas. They it's have their own identity, it. and they can tell their own stories. And so it's like giving up that free reign to yes. let them have that, build the trust, let them bring their vision to life. Right. I mean, with a little two-year-old, I'm still trying to figure out. Man, look, I don't know where she's <laughs> sassy this from, but I'm just uh, saying mm, she's mm. got a voice. <laughs> Yes, she does. <laughs> yes, she does. And I'm like, okay, you're going to be 14 one day and you're going to be doing Man. things. <laughs> Can you watch my little YouTube videos and make sure you know oh, mom please was cool, believe. You but Please believe. They are always paying attention. You just when you just Just when you start to catch it, they done already went to the moon. Not everything comes easy. No. I mean, there's always challenges aside from pay the bills, take mm -hmm. this project, spreading yourself thin, learning the ropes, making people believe in you. Right. I could go on. <laughs> Not about me. <laughs> what has been one of the biggest obstacles that you've had to overcome that maybe oh, was like WTF? I don't think I could do this. <laughs> Have you had I that guess, thought? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. All the time. I guess accepting just what I was saying. Like I can't do all the things, mm. and um, really focusing on delegating and believing. Yeah that they will do a great job. So I'm really focusing on that. So then I can free up time to do the creative stuff that yeah. I wanna do. Like I, I do photography and I love it, like for events and weddings, that's awesome. But I don't get to do the creative fun stuff, those ideas that's been sitting in the back of my mind yep. or that I wrote like five years ago. I wanna be able to do that. Oh yes, honey. My journal life is ridiculous. I can only <laughs> imagine. I, you know, you're not the first creative I've talked to just in the very recent days that has said, I don't get a chance to create because I'm running the business mm -hmm. side of things. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> you've done some really cool things. You've learned your lessons. What's one of your biggest accomplishments you're most proud of? Oh, man. Well, outside of my Emmy, Outside of my Emmy, we'll talk about we'll talk about we'll talk about the Emmy. <laughs> but outside of my Emmy, is providing space for our youth mm. and seeing them like because spin grad uh, spin covers all the graduations, so like they'll run up to me, so they'll be like lined up to go and sit, and I've had students run up to me because they see me oh my working, and like that's when it hits you like you're setting a legacy that's one thing i want to tell young women who do not have children or are not married yeah it does not mean that you can't Im impact youth mm -hmm. it does not mean that there aren't children up here out here that aren't looking up to you yeah and love you like i can honestly say that like there if you're likable yes people look up to you yes so don't think that you can't make an impact or that you have to have a child in order to be loved by one. Mm -mm. That's very, very important. You're making moves, you have a story, and you yes. want to share that, and I yeah. think that's impressionable, and remarkable. So yes, the babies, and then the Emmy. Okay, the Emmy. <laughs> the shiny thing that you got? The shiny thing that I got. You are an Emmy award-winning producer. What is it, what was it um, acknowledged for? Oh man, so the documentary Discover Truth um, with, with executive producer Daniel Bergen over at TP Television. And it was a full circle type of situation. Oh so imagine the person who 
yeah. Don't Believe the Hype was produced by Daniel Bergen mm -hmm. and uh, Robin Hickman. Shout out to uh, shout out to Auntie Robin. She's amazing. <laughs> I just met her. I said I'm not gonna be going far. Man, <laughs> whatever you do, if if she has a chance to, if you can grab her ear for a moment, I'm on her radar. Yes, make sure you do. <laughs> um, so it was a circle back. So he, we did Don't Believe Hype forever. And then I became a freelancer. And then I was actually a part-time floor director at TVT. And so I always stayed connected. And he had this idea for a documentary on the relationship between African-Americans and the healthcare system. Wow. And he was like, hey, it would be dope if you have some time <laughs> to help me with this project. I was like, yeah, sure, yeah, this is great. Yeah, it's like I finally get to work with, with Dan on as an adult. Yeah. Like it was like, what? Like I'm yeah. grown now. Yeah, I'm sure that was <laughs> just so <laughs> it was full circle. Everything. And so it was one summer um, going into different organizations, um, talking to different churches. So a lot of people don't understand that black folks at one point weren't allowed to get insurance. That's insane. Right. And so what, what would happen is that the churches would offer those kind of services. So they had like nurse practitioners. Wow. Um, and then there were black owned insurance companies that were created. And so the AME church was a huge integral part of that. So we had to go to a few churches and talk about that history. Wow. And then some on the street interviews, which is always, whoo. You get <laughs> lots of eclectic Lots of different types things. of people and, and things happening. And so wow. I got to help out with that. And then just connecting my network. Like yep. that was one of the times where I really noticed how vast my network was and is growing. Growing. And, um, and how wonderful and great the people were just like, oh, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, let's go. So they love it. It was wonderful. Um, and so he had entered it into the Emmys, and I was just cool with the recognition. I was just cool with the nomination, right? That's a big so get, milestone awesome. in of itself. It was awesome. And so I was just cool with the nomination, and you get the little email. So you're like, oh, cool, yeah, this is great. This is great. And then. <laughs> I'd like to take this award <laughs> and the rest is. And then um, then you, you get the, you have to go to the awards to know if you won. I had a little situation that happened where well, why would I was there be exhausted. A situation? I, um, I had a little situation where I was up really, really late um, the night before till like 5 a.m. dealing with some family stuff. Oh and I told myself like, I'm gonna wake up at six or I'm gonna wake up at 5.30 because the Emmys start at 7.30. I overslept, <gasps> I woke up, my phone is going bonkers, like zoot, 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 and all these notifications. And they're like, where are you at? You won, where are you? You won. And so I'm like, oh my God. You were in I'm, bed. I was in bed at oh. my mama house. And I'm running <laughs> through the house, so and my mom is just like, oh, my God, my baby. <laughs> and then it was like, I got to go, I got to go, I got to go, I got to go. Had no kind of outfit. So you did not picture, wake up looking like this? No, ma'am. Mm -mm, <laughs> as much as I would have loved <laughs> for that to happen, where oh, there's a sleigh man. that you can just throw on. Yep. Um, and so I ended up going up there with a cute little jacket and a pair of jeans. And here these people are with these ballroom gowns. And You've got to like, be kidding. I did not know this. Yes. So my picture, so the picture that people see where I'm holding it with my shiny little jacket, I have jeans on. Hey. <laughs> you earned it. Yes. I and it did. doesn't matter. It was wonderful. It was amazing. That's it was an amazing opportunity. And I just love Dan. First of all, because Dan has just been so supportive of my entire career yeah. and loves Candy Fresh. L absolutely loves I, I Candy Dan. Fresh. I don't think you met Dan yet, but you will. Dan. But you will. We're about to meet. Um, <laughs> and it's just always like rooting and, and so helpful. So it was mm. magical to be able to help him with a project as an adult because I had interned for TPT. Yes. And so it was just like. <sighs> complete so, full picture. Complete full Where's picture. Where's the full shiny circle. statue? The shiny statue. The, <laughs> they call it the, uh, what do they call her? Her name the, not Emmy? No, no, no. 
the uh, it's a certain type of angel. Yeah. So yes. Why did I I can't think of the first half of it. But she's an angel. But she's an and angel. she sits on my um on my desk at work. So when things get crazy, yep. like my workstation tries to break mm-hmm. or people aren't getting back to me for Candy Fresh and I have to hunt them down. <laughs> I just look up at her and be like, it's worth it. It's Tell all me. worth it. And of course, I hope to enter Candy Fresh on any one day. Girl, that is the dream. It is such, it's just an amazing platform. <laughs> get Thank to know you. her work continuously. <laughs> uh, let's send vibes to get more shiny yes, awards. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, if you were to go back and tell your 16 year old self some valuable oh, information, man. now that you've been through life a little bit, a little bit, what would you tell her? I would definitely say believe in yourself. Um, You know, us as women in media (laughs) go through some stuff. Um, When I was in college, I'll never forget, I started working my my first work-study program as an editor, and I was told I was in the wrong place. And I could have just, I could have just walked out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I would definitely say, Believe in yourself and trust that you have everything you need to make it happen. I would definitely say that to her. That's important mm-hmm. to be telling our 30, 40, 50, 60 plus year old ladies yes. out there. Yes. Believe in yourself. Believe in I mean, yourself. when these sponsorships don't come through. <gasps> right, right. You don't know how you're going to pay that light bill, <laughs> but you love what you do. For yes. me, the biggest frustration sometimes is continuing to believe in myself mm-hmm. when I'm still trying to prove to other people and I don't like proving things but no. unfortunately in this realm you have to and that's yep. not always easy to swallow always. and I love that advice from Miss 16 year old Bianca yes um how do you un- how do you undo the chaos of oh, life and all man. that you're doing the running the going the events you talk about self-care <laughs> how do you, you self care man I meditate so like before mm-hmm. I leave my house every day i i pray i do affirmations i burn a lot of incense i totally do the eric Badu thing as people are like is that how it's supposed She's to it's got like, it going yeah. on you gotta um you gotta set the tone for your day i don't know so much we run around so much we just allow life to happen to us yes yep we can't we can't live like that yeah life shouldn't I, and I hope this is on YouTube. You can say a cuss you word. Can say whatever you want. Don't allow. You can't allow life to whoop your ass all the time. You just can't. So. But when women, we let the, that. Oh happen. yeah, we do. We do. Um, so I try to set my intentions and set everything up. So when I actually leave my home, I'm already on a positive path. Like I just don't. I don't. Good. And I know when I don't do that, <laughs> you go out into the world day. and you're like, oh my. That big old world that yes. you referenced? <laughs> Man. So, um, yeah. So how can we as women support one another, whether it's women of color, women in media, women creatives, women entrepreneurs? Oh, man. That uh, is something that we need to... It's fun to hear that from other women mm-hmm. because we're so busy. Yes. And we all want good things, but does it always come out gracefully? So how can we do that? I guess definitely being intentional. So like, you know, if you're hearing about a a really dope event that a young woman is putting on or jewelry or whatever, you know, I am the shared queen. If you, you those are people who know me on Facebook. Yes, you are. (laughs) Any, any woman, any woman of color, anyone who's doing something positive, I reshare almost instantly. Which I appreciate. It's fine. Good. Um, so I try to be very intentional, um, about that and being supportive. Like, honestly, I have to give a shout out to my vibe tribe. So like my vibe tribe is all women of color who are in business. Oh, yes. All of us. So it's Bianca. It's Bianca Kelly. There's two. Um, it's Essence. It's Shakita. And then it's Dr. Zakia Robbins. Ooh. And so Rich we names. all yes. We all support one another. We all help one another. Find find your tribe. 
find find that group of women or group of people yep. that are about the things that you're about doesn't and exist support 50 one people. another. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't it doesn't have to you just have to be intentional and that energy goes off into the universe, right? Like, man, this is a group of sisters, they not arguing, they're not fitting the stereotypes of reality television. They actually very friendly to each other and good to each other and support one another like yeah like, yeah it's a thing Amen to that <laughs> it, it happens <laughs> that is a huge thing right there when you can just connect and fully support and listen yes don't always have to have something to say no. i love that vibe tribe my vibe tribe everyone should have a vibe tribe. everyone should have a vibe tribe <laughs> so you're going to continue to do things yes big just goals. not all the things not all the things <laughs> but how can we keep track of the things where oh can people find God. and support you well, first and foremost, uh, that would be www.stnn.org. So that's the first one. Oh, yes. St. Paul Neighborhood Network. One. The next one is my Facebook, forward slash La Bella Lovely. Don't ask why it's La Bella Lovely. <laughs> we don't need to ask questions. Just go there. Um, and then I think if you just put in Be Lovely 82, everything kind of shows up. So my mm -hmm. Instagram. My Twitter is lovely amaretto. Sorry. I started Twitter when Twitter came out. So a long time I changed ago. my name a few times after that. Um, so yeah, that's how I am on social media. Excellent. Uh, Crown Lens Media Group. So that would be crownlensmediagroup.com. Yes. Candyfresh.tv is coming soon. OMG. So all things Candy Fresh will have a space in the meantime. Uh, you can find Candy Fresh on YouTube, or if you're in the St. Paul area, that would be Comcast Channel 19, yes. and that's weekdays at 7 p.m., so we're on every day in prime time in St. Paul, and then we also air on Channel 937, and that's the Twin City on Black Music America. Heck so, to the yes. Yes. So you'll find it. <laughs> in so much capacity. information. Y'all yes, will yes, have yes. those links below, <laughs> but don't worry. Um, we are not done, even though this conversation could go forever. Yes. They're like, wrap it up, girl. You are just <laughs> taking the time. Uh, but will you hang out for a little activity? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Bianca Rhodes, thank you for watching, but don't go anywhere. I got a game for you. Are you down? I'm down. Okay, so Ellen does this thing where you ring the bell and the buzzer, all that fancy stuff, but Twitch does this, and you have five <laughs> seconds to say the first three things that comes to mind. We're going to do our variation of They Come in Threes. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> so we're each going to take turns. You're going to take one and say the first th three things that comes to mind based on what's written on that slip. So say okay. what's written on it, and then, and then say the first three things. But you have to spit it out. Oh, man. It'll be like Spitfire. Okay. Are you ready? I am. And go. Favorite songs. Tupac, I Get Around, uh, Beyonce, Drunk in Love. Uh, That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Three St. Paul cafes. Whoa. Um, uh, um, Bed ta uh, Bedlam, Lower Town, uh, Huga, um, Cafe Latte. Oh, okay. Okay. St. Paul, you know St. Paul. Favorite food, pizza, chica, marsala, <gasps> and yes. naan. Ooh, you can hang out any time. These <laughs> celebrity crushes. I put this in there. <laughs> okay, he already knows that Morris Chestnut, obviously. Yes. Idris Ooh. Elba. Oh, man. Um, and uh, uh, Jennifer Lopez. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I love her. Okay. <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> Travel destinations. Paris, South Africa, Mexico. Okay. Um, favorite Minnesota hot spots or favorite places? Uh, North Shore. Um, Chino Latino, uh, OMG, <laughs> Mall of America. Okay, that <laughs> worked. <laughs> that was not what I was going to say. Oh, I got nervous oh. with my own game. Oh. That was fun. Cool. But guess what? Uh-oh. It's time for you to talk trivia. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Thing. I should have like a oh. thing. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to keep it with the whole women in film. Oh, boy. Okay. You, 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 no, no, okay. no, no. I think okay. you're going to appreciate this. Okay. Keep it diverse. Keep it fun. Keep it inspiring. It's enough. <laughs> okay, first question. Name this actress. Uh -oh. 
In her 2010 Oscars acceptance speech for Best Actress, she thanked her mother and stated that she was told this, there is no race, religion, no class system, no color, nothing, no sexual orientation that makes us better than anyone else. Who was it? Viola Davis? No. no. Second try. <laughs> the hint is um, she starred in The Blind Side. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I see her face. I hate head. when that happens. Mr. Yes, yeah. I don't know her name. Bandra Sullock. Uh, uh, something. It oh, rhymes. <laughs> You're like, ooh. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I was crying watching that. I'm it's like, okay, this is, we're going to do that. I just I love. I love Miss I know. She's probably like, this is not my best work. She goes by whatever. But I that's what her it. mom had told her. Isn't that the oh. sweetest thing? No race, no religion, no creed, no sexual orientation makes us better than anyone else. Y'all need to remember that For every real. day. Okay, number two, she, this woman, won an Oscar for Best Actress in 2002 as the first black woman to receive an award and for this category. And she stated, this is for every nameless, faceless woman of color that now has a chance because of this door that opened tonight. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Yeah. Oh, Sabbath. I remember that. Face. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. Halle Berry. This highly respected, inspirational woman, civil rights activist, poet, and also a filmmaker who was nominated for Best Director at the 1999 Acapulco Black Film Festival for her film, Down in the Delta. Oh, man. She did not Down in the Delta. Ah, it's not, well, how many I always have Ava on my mind. <laughs> okay, but how many women in film do you know that are women of color that are also directors? Not many. Like, <laughs> I can't. Not many. Yeah. Oh. But she's also a poet and an activist. Very inspirational. She has passed, though. She's unfortunately not with us today. <gasps> Her first name rhymes with Taya. Maya? Yeah. Oh, no. That's Last name. Bad. Rhymes with Bangelo. Really? Yeah. Maya Angelou was yes. the director of Down in the Delta. Yes. I learned something today. Yes. Thank you, Maya. Thank you, Maya. She was nominated for that. She did not win, but she was nominated, which yeah, is amazing. That's huge. And then I have to end with this sweet question: Would you pick Starburst Skittles or Jelly Beans? Mm. Well, my dad's nickname is Jelly Bean. So I'm gonna just roll with the I figured you would. <laughs> I figured you would. I had to end on a corny note, yeah, obviously. Get it, candy, candy fresh, dad. Candy, candy fresh, jelly bean. Hey, you gotta roll with me and my humor, guys. <laughs> that is all I have for Miss Bianca yeah. Rose. Thank you for rolling with me today. You're welcome. Oh, You're welcome. good conversation. So much fun. Follow her, support her, support all the Wonder Women of the Twin Cities, and stay tuned for more heated talk on this season. See ya.